if you really desire to make an impact and really live the life that, that you truly desire, it can't be from a passive way. It has to be active. It has to be dire directed. And so you are leading your own life no matter what. You know, even if we feel like things are happening to us, the result is ha things are happening with us. That's the actual truth. And so it's just a perspective. When we can get better at understanding that leadership starts with us, even in a support role, then you're leading the support. Yes, very much so. And when you are a leader, the best thing that you can do is get support from those who are leading that support. So again, it's back to that two-way street. And that's what love is. Love is a recognition of that oneness, that connection, that unity, that back and forth, that one can't exist without the other. That is coexistence in its fullest potential. And to me, that is what an evolved society looks like. It practices, it acts, it understands that we, we are in need of each other. We are, as you beautifully say, we are independently dependent. And when love is the very core of that essence, Oh, I mean, that's talk. Um, productivity reaches a whole other level that I don't know if humanity has ever truly experienced or if they have. It's been a very, very long time. Imagine what we as a society could accomplish if we un took the time to make sure that everyone was seen, heard, and understood. It may not be 100%, but it's, I mean, it's clearly not 100% right now. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I mean, let's be honest. So even if we, if we just moved the needle a little bit, how much of that time that we spend on conflict and in misunderstanding and, and just I don't care anymore attitude, all that time that is wasted on that, how much could be put into supporting one another, to loving one another, to caring for? And then what would that yield? Talking about an evolved society, that's what an evolved society would look like.